What's going on YouTube? This is Kaz and welcome to the Kingdom Perfumes Experience. It's so good to have you guys here on my channel again. If you're new here, welcome. We talk about all things fragrances and I'm also a rising independent self-studying perfumer. So occasionally we'll talk about some of the ingredients, some of the notes and kind of some of my journey along the way as I work to create my own line. I'm also a man of God and I love Jesus, so I start every video with a quick and simple prayer. If you're returning, good to see you again and welcome back. Today is going to be the next part in the Amouage X-ray series. Now I know previously I talked about the reflection profile and I also talked about the honor profile. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the interlude profile. So before I begin, let's go ahead with a quick and simple prayer. If you would like to skip the prayer, no pressure at all. There'll be a link in the description below. But if you're joining me for the prayer, let's go ahead and start. Heavenly Father, thank you for my viewers. And I thank you for all of our lives and for this upcoming fall season. Lord, I just pray that you just reveal to us the things that we should be mindful of and be grateful of as we approach the end of this year and going into a new year in these next couple of months. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, let's get into it. So today's video is going to be dedicated to the interlude profile. Now, the interlude eau de parfum was a fragrance that came out in 2012. And I also have the extra, the interlude extra which is a fragrance that I believe came out in maybe 2020, 2021 timeframe. And I also got that as part of the Amouage Extraight sample as part of Last Ten Explorers gift bag. So let's go ahead and start with the Interlude Eau de Parfum. So I have a sample of the Interlude Eau de Parfum. Unfortunately, I do not have a full bottle, but I was able to purchase one at scentsplit.com, I believe. And here is my little scent, uh, scent split dot com sample which i'm really grateful for they did not send this to me for free i did purchase it with my own funds but i just really wanted to be able to compare both of these uh profiles for you guys so i'm going to go ahead and get this on strip and we'll talk a little bit about the profile and how it's opening up okay now i have it on strip so we're going to talk a little bit about the profile and i want to say as soon as i dipped it in i'm already smelling the beautiful nuances that this olfactory profile is composed of it's just amazing the nose behind this, by the way, is Pierre Negrin, and he was the one that did both of these fragrances himself. Mm. So I'm just, I'm getting a lot of things right now. I'm getting some resiness. I'm getting um, a little smokiness. I'm getting some freshness, some herbaceousness. Oh my goodness. This is a fragrance that you wear when it's boss, okay? When you want to be a boss, when you want to make a statement, you wear interlude. So I'm going to tell you what the notes are on the top, okay? Up, off top, you're going to get some oregano, a little bit of bergamot, and some pepper. That's Those are the notes that are listed on Fragrantica. And there's going to be a little bit of incense in there. Um, oh my goodness. It's very smoky. But not in an off-putting way. It's like a smoky, resinous vibe. This is just such a clever masterpiece. So like I said, you're gonna get a little smokiness, okay, from some incense. And I think there's even a smoke accord, maybe more so in the extra, but you're gonna get some smokiness. You're gonna get some apopinax in the heart, some amber, and I think some labdanum. And like I mentioned before, labdanum is something that is has a very resinous quality to it, okay? It is a flower, but when you process it, when you extract the natural materials from it, you get this really nice, almost Coca-Cola type vibe from it. It's just really dark, really sweet. Oh, so good. And then this fragrance also has some agarwood or some oud in there with some leather at the base too. So that kind of gives it more of a, I don't want to say an animalic type of scent, but it does give it some body, some base, you know, some, some bite to it, right? You're gonna get some sandalwood and patchouli as well, just to kind of round it out. But that is what you get in Interlude Eau de Parfum. And as you notice, I can't stop smelling it. It almost smells like there's some vanilla in there too, but there, there is none listed, so. Woo-wee. 
Beautiful Stuff 2012. Now we're going to look at the extrated perform. So this is going to be interlude. Uh, I believe it's 53. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so now let's take a look at Interlude 53. This is a 2020 release, as I mentioned before, and the nose behind this is Pierre Negrin again. So here's my sample. Again, this is my Amoir sample set. All the x rays that I have are in this form, the new sample set. The x rays are pretty expensive, but I highly recommend saving up for them. They are worth the save. If you just wanna have one signature bottle, that'll always do it for you. These x ray Profums are amazing. So let's get into the profile. I'm gonna get this on strip and we'll, we'll get on with it. All right, so now I have it on strip. And as you probably have seen before, maybe in the Honor Woman video or the Reflection Man video, there are slight changes between the Odi Perform and the Extrade Perform when you look in the note breakdown. Now, one of the change, two of the changes here in the Extrade Perform for Interlude 53 versus Interlude Odi Perform is the note of Pimento. So if you remember, in the top, there was some oregano, some pepper, and some bergamot. Whereas in the extra, what's listed is uh, oregano, pimento, and bergamot. So just a really subtle change there. And there's also the addition of a note of smoke in the base. So there's still that leather, there's still that oud. I think there's some sandalwood and patchouli, but there's also a smoke accord. And the heart is pretty much unchanged. It's identical. It's the same heart between both of the fragrance, at least what's listed on Fragrantica. But I'm gonna tell you, when I first smelled this extra, it was just like much more of a richer, just a deeper punch, really. And I think the only change, I mean, the pimento is a slight uh, difference, right? It's a different type of pepper, but it's pepper nonetheless. So you're still gonna get that same pepper effect. And I think that note of smoke or that uh, smoke accord just gives it a little bit of a deeper smokier, maybe even a, more of a mysterious type of vibe. And it's definitely much more concentrated. This thing is beautiful. Resinous, smoky, spicy, sexy. These are both sexy, but the extra is even sexier, if you guys can believe that. Oh, my goodness. You, you notice I can't stop smelling it. This is great for the cold weather. Beautiful profile. So we're going to let this dry so we can fully compare the Odi Perform and the extra Perform in a few hours of dry down. Before I go, let me grab both of them side by side so we can see how they compare right before I walk away. So now I have both of them side by side. Extrade in this hand, Eau de Parfum in this hand. Very spicy, slightly smoky, herbal, resinous, deeper, more smoke in the extra. I think they even hyped up the resins a little bit. Probably even added more Apophanax. Yeah, they're they're very close. So this is one that actually, I don't think you'd be losing out based on which one you picked up. I know it was different from the previous two because I definitely recommend getting both bottles of the previous two, but this one, I think that if you went with the extra and you didn't have the Eau de Parfum, you wouldn't be missing much. You would just be getting a much stronger presentation, a more bold, dry down. If you went with the Eau de Parfum, you would get the same thing, just a, a tiny bit toned back. But let's wait for the dry down before we make a full recommendation and a full decision there. Great profile, guys. I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, I'm back. And it's been about eight hours. Um, I stopped this recording at about 4 p.m. Eastern, came back at around midnight. And I have both of these on strips, so we're gonna see how they perform. So first, I'm gonna start with the Eau de Parfum. Very present. Very present, you're still gonna smell that uh, spice, that you know peppery nature that it has, a lot of that kind of smoky nuance to it. And the resins are very present. And I like it, I like it. it it's, I feel like it smells ever so sweet. Maybe there's a touch of um, some sweetness in there, maybe vanilla. I think there's vanilla listed in the deep dry down. I don't remember, I don't have the notes in front of me again as earlier, but this is really, really good stuff and it's very present. It's almost as if I just sprayed it or just dipped it into the, uh, the sample there. So now I'm gonna try the extra to perform. Now again, this is interlude uh, 53, I believe. Now, 
The Interlude 53 is actually much more tamed. It's, it's much more behaving in a way. The smoky nuance is there. That incense is there. It's got a bit more of a smoky nuance to it. But the same facets from before are there, that uh, peppery nature, that kind of resinous depth that it has to it. But it actually does not project a whole lot, but it's so present. And I feel like in the Eau de Profond, I'm getting a lot more. And it could be due to the rate of evaporation. Again, it is a less concentrated mix, right? So it evaporates just a little bit faster. But I really think both of these, the Eau de Profond for Interlude and the uh, interlude 53 they're both on par and I think if you were to go with either or you really wouldn't miss a lot so if you want a lot more siage a lot more projection throughout the day or throughout the evening maybe on those cooler uh, months of the year go ahead for the Ode Profond but if you want something that is same profile but you want a little bit closer to the skin and maybe even last a little bit longer and go ahead for the uh, Interlude 53 Extra Day Profound. Side note, I do recommend checking out Interlude Black Iris. That stuff is amazing. Yeah, great fragrances, guys. And I'm so glad that they're holding up eight hours later. It's really nice. Like these, this fragrance profile is no slouch. I can smell it all day, but it's actually the most nuanced profile out of all of the x rays that are currently out. Well, that's my video, guys. I really do hope you guys enjoy this fourth part in the Amouage Extrait series uh, where we compare the Eau de Parfums and the Extrait de Parfums. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what your favorite Amouage fragrance is and if you've tried any of these Extraits before. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Again, it's been a pleasure. Take care, have a wonderful and safe, productive weeks and uh, rest of the day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.